Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, we look at a freshman who has made her mark on the softball team. Kar Sharma looks back on his tennis career as he graduates, and Kyle Mishler looks at how the track team needs to prepare for the conference meet. That's all here on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to the final episode of the Globe Sports Corner for this season. I'm Tanner Camp. It's not easy to be able to play a sport at the college level, especially as a freshman. Well, Jessica Bachtel, shortstop for the softball team, has made a big impact that has led the team to lots of success. William Troyer has more on the story. Jessica Bachtel, a first-year standout for the Goshen College softball team, was recognized as Female Rookie of the Year at the Leafy Awards. Her talent on the field has not only impacted her team, but the entire athletic department. Here's Bachtel on what receiving that award meant to her. I was so excited because I honestly didn't even think that my skills mattered in a sense because I'm a freshman so um, the fact that it was recognized by the whole athletic department really made me feel good because it made me realize that maybe what I do really does have an impact on our season and our athletic department as a whole. As the season begins to wind down the team hopes they will secure their spot in the playoffs. Um, with the season coming to an end, I really think that we need to work together and just keep the team chemistry going and um, work together as a team to push through. I think we have a lot of skills and talent, but we all need to put our skills together and make it work for this last home stretch. Once the playoffs begin, Bakdil and the Maple Leafs know they have to improve in one specific area. The biggest thing that we need to work on is probably our hitting. Uh, we do have a lot of strong players and a lot of big hitters on our team, and I really do feel like we can all hit well. The only thing that we need to work on is stringing our hits together, so hitting back to back to back in order to get the runs in. Um, but I do think that we have a lot of talent, and we can really pull through when it comes to our hitting. The Maple Leafs resume action this Friday as they host Spring Arbor University for a pivotal doubleheader. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer. Bakta will be a fun player to keep an eye on during her time at Goshen College. When we return, Benjamin Cotton will be with Kart Sharma to talk about his tennis career. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton, and to my left, we have Cart Sharma, senior tennis player and soon to be graduate of Goshen College. Cart, thank you for coming down to the studio. Yeah, my pleasure. And what our first question is, you've been here for four years, so how's it feel that knowing you're about to graduate here soon in a couple weeks? Yeah, there are definitely mixed feelings. Uh, like, I wouldn't be able to compete at college anymore uh, with my teammates. Wouldn't be able to play tennis at 12 a.m. with them. Wouldn't be... Um, um, when, like not going to see so many wonderful friends I made at GC and so many wonderful professors over here. So yeah, but also um, I'm excited about going to real world and following my passion. So I'm excited where where I will be going after college. Yeah, that's very important. And yeah. looking back at your career again, uh, are there any special moments that comes back to mind? Maybe it's your freshman year, sophomore year, just any time that you're just your playing career here. Sure, yeah. I would just want to quote like one from this year, from the, this fall, where I reached uh, the third round of ITA tournament. It was actually very hard for me because I came back from a huge injury. So, and uh, getting a win over one of the top players of the tournament in a three set match was huge for me. Yeah, and so. what was that injury? Uh, what was that? Sorry? The injury. What was your injury? Yeah, again? my injury was on my back, so mm -hmm. lower back, so it was herniated disc. So I couldn't able to play tennis for like almost six months and couldn't able to even run or go to gym. So that was pretty huge, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's 
very tough injury as you, you yeah. need your back for a lot of things, but very impressive. Definitely. So as you came in as a freshman, also coming from another country, how is that like, how has that changed? Is tennis still tennis wherever you go or is it kind of different here in America? Uh, tennis is always tennis, but it's, the weather is, is good and bad in different senses as it is not as hot as in India. We used to play tennis in like 50 degrees Celsius over there, but coming to America is like 20 degrees, 30 degrees max. So yeah, but in winter again, you have to go indoors. So that's a lot different from India because I never actually played indoor before coming to Goshen. So that's that's the different and indoor is always different than the outdoor tennis. So that's where you can find the difference. Yeah, how's that affected you? Like, so like, what is the difference between like indoor and outdoor? Like, how does that affect you? And did, did you have the competitive advantage because you play in hotter weather? Like, I understand the outdoors, but like, how did like indoor affect you? Sure, because indoor is, outdoor is having all the factors there, air, a wind, uh, sun, so everything there, but indoor there's only lights and no, no wind. So for me, as my game is more like a counter puncher, so my game is better outdoor where I can play with wind. As an indoor, um, it is very hard to play my game because there's no wind and the other player can just hit very hard. So yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to play an indoor. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, and final question is, you've been here for four years once again. Um, what would you like to tell uh, future tennis players that come to Goshen College or even your team that you had these last four years? What's, what's like a special message you'd like to get to them? Sure, I would like to tell them work hard on the court as well as out of the court, which includes academics, and also be kind to yourself and one another. So, yeah. Well, thank you for coming down to the studio. Right. Really thank appreciate you, so much. you yeah. playing for the Maple Leafs, and also good luck to you in your future. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. And again, when we come back, I will be back with Kyle Mischler to talk about the high jumpers here at Goshen College. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. I'm with Kyle Mishra, high jump coach for the Goshen College track and field team. Kyle, thank you for coming down to the studio. So, uh, first question is, you've been, you graduated in 2014, then the following year you came back to coach. So, what, what was your ambition there? Yeah, you know, I, I was really lucky to have some coaches that uh, believed in me when I was an athlete here and um, allowed me to come back and volunteer as a coach. Um, and it's been really good getting to learn from those coaches and, and with the current coaches. Um, I've learned a lot the past five years, uh, learning more about track and field, more about high jump, and getting to interact with student athletes on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, and with these day-to-day -day basis, what, try, what type of impact do you try to make on the team as you have experience? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I try to give, give some lessons from, from what I learned when I was an athlete. Um, you know, I've, I've been through a lot. I've been through the ups and the downs that everyone experiences uh, throughout a season, um, and I just try to give them uh, my best knowledge of, of how to help and, and how to succeed in whatever area they're in. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. And as an athlete back in your day, you were the first ever Goshen College athlete to be recognized as an NAIA All All um, All American. So uh, can you like just tell us like like how did that feel when you won it back in the day, and just explain how you can like bring it to present times with the, the current team? Yeah, you know, like I said, I was I was really blessed to have some good coaches that taught me a lot about about high jump. Um, I was able to find some success my senior year. Um, and it, it's just, it's really good to be able to pass down that knowledge to the new athletes coming up. Um, and hopefully they can find some success, even if not in that form, in their own right. Yeah, and when you are training your athletes, do you like tend to go what works best for you or do you have a philosophy where you think that each athlete has their own training method that works best for them? Yeah, it's a little bit individualized, but there's, there's generally a, a base set of guidelines to follow to help um, athlete progression throughout the year. Um, so we kind of stick to that plan and then veer off where we see necessary. 
And uh, one of your high risers are uh, Simon Graber Miller. Mm -hmm. He's a freshman. He's already breaking records now. So, like, what do you think of him and his potential ceiling? Yeah, he's had a really good freshman year. Um, people, a lot of people don't know he's he's really new to track. He's only been doing track for a little over a year now. Um, so he had a really good indoor season, um, breaking a school record, placing fourth in conference, had a really good showing at nationals um, for indoor. Uh, we haven't got to jump a lot outdoor with him yet, but we'll get a chance here in the next few weeks. And uh, the sky's the limit for him as he keeps learning the event and keeps getting stronger and better. Yeah, and you talk about indoor versus outdoor. Has that changed your training methods at all? Or like, how do you how do you train athletes compared from indoor to outdoor? Yeah, um, we generally try to peak athletes for the outdoor season. The outdoor conference meets the biggest meet of the year. Um, but there is a little there's a little mini peaks throughout the season. Um, try to get them ready for indoor conference and. There's not too much of a change, but just making sure they're ready for the big meets. Yeah, and speaking of conference play, it's coming up here in the next few mm -hmm. weeks. Uh, what are your plans to prep your athletes uh, to, to perform at their best? Yeah, we uh, last week was really tough on them. Um, we had quite a few hard workouts, but uh, hopefully they got some good rest and recovery this Easter break. Um, we got the last hard workout of the season really today. Um, then we'll take it lighter in the legs, keep them fresh, and see if we can attack it full bore in the next few weeks. All right, well, Kyle, thank you for coming down to the studio. I really appreciate you. Thanks a lot for having me. And when we come back, Tanner Camp will look at the Maple Leaf schedule and wrap up our final show that's coming up on the Glow Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real-world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's look ahead at your Maple Leafs in action this week. Baseball and softball will be playing this Friday as baseball will be traveling to Grace for a single game at 3 p.m. while the softball team will be at home for a conference doubleheader against Spring Arbor. That series will start at 3 p.m. And Saturday, lots of Maple Leaf action as the baseball, softball, and track and field teams will be at Grace College. Track will start at noon and baseball and softball will start at 1 p.m. That wraps up our final episode of the Globe Sports Corner this season. A big thank you to the entire Globe crew for the hard work in making our sports show a reality. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at 911theglobe, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1theglobe, and check out our website at globeradio.org. Tune in next season for more stories, interviews, and everything to know about your Goshen College Maple Leafs. We'll see you next season on the Globe Sports Corner.